Hi, kitty cats. Today is May 13th, 2024. If you saw my video yesterday, you know I was feeling sick. I'm feeling better today, which is great, because it allows me to address a comment I got from Discord and Duck 1808 regarding the variability of quality of life measurements. Discord and Duck said that quality of life was not a use useful scientific metric because it's capricious and unreliable. It's based on how people feel and how people feel changes. And I agree. Yesterday I felt like crap. Today I feel like less crap. But experimental design is based on more than just the variability in the data that you acquire. It's also based on whether the data you acquire is related to the conclusion you want to draw. For instance, if you look at quality of life in a study on the efficacy of gender-affirming care, you can mitigate the variability by taking a lot of data points over a long period of time, such as studies done by WPATH and pretty much every study that confirms the efficacy of gender-affirming care. On the other hand, the CAS report measured the number of referrals doctors made to specialized gender clinics. Now, this is not a highly variable piece of data. It is questionable how it relates to the conclusion that gender-affirming care is not efficacious. That referral has the doctor's opinion involved in it, the level of safety the patient had with the doctor, and really doesn't have anything to do with whether or not the patient felt better. We have a saying in analytical chemistry, which is that if your data sucks, your conclusion's going to suck too. And don't forget, science is supposed to serve humanity, not the other way around. So hope you liked this video. If you did, like it, share it, follow me, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye!